This is the sign that will greet you at the George L. Smith State Park. Going into the park office to get my paperwork and my campsite assignment. I also noticed over in the corner was a display of syrup, canned syrup, that's made on the property. Here I found a house called the Syrup Shed. Of course, the bottle that I did buy from the gift center, I put in the picture down at the bottom by the door, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I bought a bottle. It was Poppycock High. Here's a, the covered bridge 18, in the 1800s. Some of the wood is still on the covered bridge. Museum now. We'll go inside and I walk through and at the end you will see some old equipment that I was able to go ahead and yeah, it looks like a generator of some kind. I have no clue what this is but it was operational as a lumber mill, gin mill and a grits mill. Let's see I'm here and we're gonna take off this way over the boardwalk and go on around three mile loop back to here okay just got started three mile hike if I find anything interesting I'll stop and go ahead and uh, record it for you why the heck did I choose to hike this trail in the hottest part of the day it's in the 90s goodness gracious out in the sun no cover let me show you what this trail looks like so far. <laughs> I've been walked two miles down a service road before I finally decided to get out the all trails map. Come to find out, I'm not nowhere near the trail. I'm on a service road, hiking my little heart out. Now I've got to go back. George L. Smith State Park is far enough south that it, you will get to see some cypress trees and the knees and you, you see quite nice. I did find a sign that says beware of alligators. <laughs> when you're truck camping this is the way your supper will look. All right, getting ready to make supper here at the George L. Smith State Park in Georgia. Now, I've, I've mentioned this before, but you, you guys just won't listen. But I wanted to show you just what, it's hot, so I'm not cooking anything. In fact, I've got frozen water instead of coffee and hot chocolate. But I've mentioned these before. This is called perella leaves. And it's a very simple plant. It's from the mint fa uh, family. But um, a few years ago, I bought a, one little plant in a pot, put it outside the back door, and um, let it go to seed. Didn't have to do anything to it. I think I watered it because it was in a pot. But let it go to seed, threw the pot away, and, and um, next year they started coming up. Now I'm gonna show you, this is at my back uh, porch and on the way out I snipped a few and I also snipped one leaf that had a little um, insect nibbled on it I don't know why but insects don't like it they'll nibble on it and then they'll quit uh, rabbits won't eat it deer won't eat it but it has a wonderful flavor and what I'm gonna do I've got a handful of them here I snipped off as you see in the video the next thing I need to tell you about, oh, yeah, I'm going to show it to you in a minute, but here's something I need to, I'm 81, never heard of this fruit here. It looks like a fist, they, at least Google says, but it's, it's called here, it's on here. It's called a chayote, I'll type it up here, chayote, it's spelled just like this here, chayote, but it said Whole Foods. I, I I've never knew what it was, didn't know how to use the thing. Here's, here's what it looks like. And I'm going to give you the ingredients. My wife, I'm not going to give you the 
uh, amount because it's to taste. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is rotisserie chicken from Ingalls. I don't know why my wife gave me so much. I guess she thinks I'm a hog, but that's all I need. Two slices of ham. Two tomato slices. And an onion. Now, to me, I've been eating this uh, multi-grain. I don't, granola made out of all these fancy uh, grains. They're supposed to be good for you, but I hate to tell you, my sandwich I like is just like this, white bread. When Kevin was at my house, I made this for him. Oh, two Clausen's dill pickles. I made this for him. He said it was the best sandwich he ever had. I, I didn't put any salt and pepper on it, but I should. Oh, oh, I forgot the most important ingredient. Look here. You take these leaves, fold them over so they fit on the bread. Like so. Now that's your sandwich. <laughs> All right, here's, <laughs> here's that super sandwich, okay? Oh my goodness. After 81 years, my teeth are about worn out, but they still work. Now I'm not gonna make you watch you eat my supper, but that's it for now. <laughs> All right, guys, I just arrived at home and realized I didn't have an ending for this video. So this will be the ending, and we'll see you next week.